welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben and he has the pleasure to take this video a second time <laughs> because the computer didn't work. Mm. So now we're trying hard <laughs> to be better this time. So uh, we had not that many bottles this month yes i i did more I, well, I did a few gin videos also did a few knowledge gin videos i'm limiting myself to one gin tasting um per uh, i think month or two gin tasting per month um but i did some knowledge videos so that was a bit of a limited choice but still the month was really good so we had a choice uh, between few but then still they were really really good so the choice was still a bit harder but in the end for me one of the best here on the cask or the one that i tried which one was my best was the long grow it's a product of springbank double stilled very very smoky and it's just very well made and yeah so it's nice it's i think for for spring bank it's more of the entry level the entry level 52 euros so <laughs> around <laughs> in, in that in dollars as well so it's pretty high because it's a very high class distillery as it uh, is very traditional there's the old way which is not the most cost efficient cost efficient way yeah most of it is <laughs> manual labor yeah so mm. a lot of manual labor in here but you can really feel it that it's a nice made scotch whiskey campbelltown whiskey there are not much campbelltown whiskies left and this one is so smoky it's like an isla whiskey but it can easily keep up with the isla whiskies and i still and now i can remember uh it's it's not one of these very medicinal ones but it's a a nice dry but still chimney barbecue not barbecue but yeah chimney smoke whiskies and and i do love it that it's not so marine and maritime flavors but it has a really strong smokiness the other one the glinguin 15 years uh is a bit of the opposite doesn't have any smoke at all it's a very very easy drinking but still complex highlander 15 years of age uh it's um 80 euros yes also a bit pricier uh and yeah it's one of these a uh, little bit more of a hidden uh brand glenguin is not that hyped but it's still very good and this is one of their i would say core ranges that is just in the middle and just nicely done 15 years <coughs> nicely done yeah and then the next two bottles or the last two the uh, second half uh, i had and uh well i had been on vacations and was very good and very quiet and not that disturbing there was just one disturbance when a parcel arrived <laughs> <laughs> his work pass <laughs> with a few bottles work. in it or samples in it <laughs> with the tubes so i had to taste them in my vacations probably you have seen them already online and the first one is the balechin that's a whiskey from the iradar distillery one of the smallest in scotland and this one is the smoky character of iradar and uh this is first fill sherry cask 12 years of age uh 50 ppm uh wow uh is not that cheap it's in the 80s up to 90s and it's only half a liter but it's cast strength so that you're getting a lot out of that bottle and this extreme smokiness extreme sherry cask first fill uh no mixture between casks uh yeah so cast strength this is extreme stuff and very very good uh, you have to dilute it from my point of view a little bit uh, so that you're getting uh, well the maximum out of the taste yeah it's just i i think i had an edredor like the same style of uh and it was just amazing i i, I just i just smelled it i love it <laughs> even, even from that little whiff <laughs> yeah last one is a glenfiddich but not from the uh, big uh, well bottlings of glenfiddich but it's called the malt masters and it's a little bit more expensive than the normal glenfiddich but still affordable at the well uh, below or slightly above 40 and this is a mixture also with sherry cask and it's for a glenfiddich it's extremely ex uh, intense 
So there's a little bit more of ABV. It's 43 instead of 40 ABV, which is typical to Glenfiddich with a no age or young age statement whiskies. And uh, then it has more cask character. So the casks were selected really good. And Glenfiddich as the global leader in single malt whiskey sales has the casks to bottle them individually. And so this is one of these well, I think uh, they have quite a lot of bottles uh, available, but it's definitely a lot less than the typical 12 year old. Yeah, that's it for today. Yeah, very nice selection of whiskies. And now uh, we can actually stick our heads together. I've actually have somebody who's preparing a list of all the awards we had during these months. And let's have a look if we can remember them and find out which one we remembered as really, really, really good and give them the whiskey.com award of the year 2022. They're coming up pretty early in the year 2023. So it's going to be in, in January 2023. We're going to have a look back what was the best whiskey of the year 2023. Yeah, so see you next year.